And the risk is as high as ever against this lineup. 56 degrees. It's a beautiful day at Como. Shelton's been on base in seven strength games. Another 3-2 coming. That strike three called. Frozen with the fastball at 92. It was a good 0-2. Goes back that way, back to back case. Two trying to change course here in Como. 1-2 coming. And that's hammered deep out towards center field. Pier is back and he'll have room for it. Wind is blowing it from right day. Four hits, four runs, two stolen bases in the two midweek games. And he sends a charge out to right field. Evans angling towards the corner, not going to get there. Curtis on his horse around second. He's sprinting for third and in there easily. Lead off triple. And the guy was getting the final three outs of the game. He even grounds it right underneath the glove of Neely. And the only play for Curlin's at first. And Mizzou is on the board here in the first inning. He's been getting on base at will. It's a good swing on one here. It bloops it out to shallow right field, down for the second base hit of the inning. Prior to, we're both in that Kentucky series. And that's ball four. Mizzou last in the SEC and walks. That's their 128th. The loss that day against the Tigers. 2 2, cut on and miss. That's a big strikeout for out number two. He gets his first K of the night. There go the runners for the 3 2. And Hernandez takes outside, fist pump, base is loaded, and up steps Matt Garcia. But the base is loaded. The 0-2 from Neely. Chopped on the ground towards Curlin. Underhand flip, and Florida gets out of the inning. It's on an 0-2 pitch. And he's aboard here via the base on balls. And he rifles one right to third. Leaping catch is made for Trevor Austin. Just 16 stolen bases this year, second to last of the SEC. But runner goes on the pitch as that's hit out to right field, and Beeman makes the waist high catch. That's strike three call. Good start. That's five in a row sat down by Brandon Neely. A starting job like he had his freshman year, and that like got Trevor Austin, who has just been a magnet at the plate this year. It's a one out base run. Has just been consistently stymied as Lovich. Punches one right back up the middle, a base hit. Third hit tonight for Mizzou. And Lovich aboard for the second straight time in his return. What would be your six-hole hitter? So we're going to wait this time and grounds it weakly towards Caglione at first, who still has not made an error in this 2024 season. But Hernandez weakly grounds one to Shelton. And the off-balance throw in time. And Spurs got three strikeouts so far through the first three innings. And he'll get another a breaking ball that bounced way out in front of home plate. Gets the chase from Evans, who's came for his second time. 3-2 coming. Chopped over towards Culbertson. Tough play all the way across the diamond, not nearly a tough. And you got to shift love that. on, and that's just a job well done. Tip your hat to Jack Caglione, who gets his first hit of the series. Has 14 already this season, just went 491 in the midweek as that pitch comes in and, and hits Shelton. First out of that bullpen, if they still go to Rustad, as that's chopped up the middle, could be two, four to six to three. They got that coming up after this weekend. Set is done. Two two to Culbertson. Rolled on the ground, and it's booted by Colby Shelton. And this Florida defense does not make mistakes. Just their 17th error of the season. Four pitch walk. It's an E6, then a base on balls. Florida being number six in the country in the D1 baseball poll. 2 2 to Curtis. Blooped into shallow center. Down for a base hit. Guy plays it on a couple of hops. Throw comes all the way in. You see him on Corka Howitzer. Station to station. Base is loaded for the second time for the Tigers. In this case, it's the bottom of the order that started the rally. Beeman flares one out towards second. This is going to be routine. And now there's two away for Trevor Austin. On our airwaves coming back for the fifth. Austin grounds on weekly right back to the mound and Neely works his magic again. I didn't know what that, that was. Is that spun in there for strike three called? It's the third backwards K in the fifth of the night already. Started all three games at Mississippi State. And a swing and a miss and a new season high. Six strikeouts through five scoreless. And he's thrown at least the one really high intensity inning. And he tied up Jackson Lovich. And it's a, it's not a great weather night to try to go deep. So I, I don't think Florida wants to be swinging big. 
Shelton goes down swinging. Three straight whips. Another K for Lunsford. Hitters of the same handedness as you would change up to the opposite hand. 2-2. Two, two. Yes, he did. Strike three. Logan Lunsford has everything going right now. Seven straight retired. Oh, left of you comes at you with kind of a crossfire delivery. And White shot the other way, and there it is. Brock Daniels gets his first hit of the day. And he's got he's got two outings this year where he struck out double digits as they got the runner off of first and Daniels sprinting for second. He's in there as it skips into left field. Played it's just a judgment call for the umpire. Curtis strikes out anyways. Florida has just one right now. Nothing's being hit hard as Beeman also goes down swinging. With the Gators just a bloop and a blast from beating you. Austin chops one over to Shelton, who bobbles it again, regathers, not in time. Oh, that is really close. After review, the call of safe at first base will stand. Squaw. Ahead in the count, and he rolls one to the left side. It's sliding from the third baseman over to second for the out. Nice play, Dale Thomas. And the ground ball out, then another strikeout. As that's crushed in the air off the bat of Hernandez. On its way, and it is off the wall. Extra bases for the catcher as he stands up with second with a one-out double. Just the second extra base hit of the day, and that's all the way to the backstop. Now most likely you're going to have to bring the entire infield in. Get in the air or down that he can hit on the ground. And it's a four-pitch walk. Garcia goes from first, fake on the throw down. They finally do send him. He's in there with the stolen base. The payoff pitch. Colbertson pops one up. Very shallow to the right side. Kerwin going back, makes the call. Mizzou has already stranded 12 men on base today and make it 14. What a job from Cade Fisher. And Heyman crushes one way back towards left field, and we are tied. Luke Heyman with his seventh home run of the season, just the second hit of the night for Florida. And we got a brand new ball game here in the eighth. A one run lead simply is not safe against the Florida Gators. 62nd home run of the season as a team. Top 10 of the country. We got to go back to the home run. Fastball. Austin choking up a bit. And he takes upstairs, ball four. And Lovich, did he just get hit in the hand? It looks like he did. And Peer goes down swinging. Mizzou strands two more. Florida's been playing with fire all night long. A swing and a drive way back out towards right field, but the wind knocks it down a bit. baby has got room. It's a long out from Shellnut. McNeely trying to send us to extras in Como. And he will. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And he will sit down the side and order. Three up, three down. Trying for back-to-back, -back, three up, three down innings. Chopper up the first lap, baseline, tough play for Caglione. Fields it, flips it, and they get the out. There's the athleticism. Fourth time through the order right now, it's 0 for 8 with three strikeouts. And, well, that's going to be a base runner as Yost is aboard. Florida does not like to run either, but off in motion on the pitch. Hernandez is throw down on a hop, not in time. Evitz cranks one out to shallow left center, but got under it. That'll hang out. Easy play for Jarrett Curtis. Tries to recalibrate. The one hits sharply. It's by the dive of Thomas. Seventh base hit of the night for Mizzou. Lovich is thinking two. The tag is not in time. A one out double. Facing another freshman in Caden Peer. And he hit him. Oh, that was loud. Hernandez chops one left side, it's through for a base hit. Lovich around third, it's bobbled by Shelna. A walk-off win for the Tigers.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.